so today I'm going to be solving x squared minus 6x plus 27 equals 0. I'm going to be solving this using the quadratic formula. First thing we're going to do is use the Pythagorean uh, theorem, which is, I'll put right here, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So what we're going to do for that is I'm going to subtract 27 by both sides so that it is x squared minus 6x equals negative 27. Once we have that, I can start using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So to start off, we're going to be doing x equals negative, and in parentheses, negative 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 squared. I'm getting the 6 from this right here. So negative 6 squared minus 4 times 1. I'm getting the 1 because we're assuming x equals 1 times negative 27, which I'm getting from right here. And then we're going to put that over 2 times 1. And at next step, we're going to be solving the multiplication. So this would be x equals 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus um, 108. That is, yeah, 108 over 2. Next step we're going to do is we're going to be solving the subtraction on the square root. So this would be x equals 6 plus or minus negative 72 over 2. Uh, first problem we have here is negative 72, square root of negative 72 can be solved. So I'm going to be solving this by turning it with um, i. Uh, I'll just put right here, we're just going to assume that any negative number, so this will be using 1, equals i. So to solve this, I would be doing negative 1 times 72. And then it would be negative 1 times square root of 72. Next step would be solving if this can go like any smaller of a number. To this, I'm going to be using factoring. So I'm going to be doing 36 times 2. And then 36 can be done by 6 times 6. So then once we have that pair, we're going to be using this. So this would turn into square root of negative 1 times 6 square root of 2. Now, knowing that square root of negative 1 just equals i, we will be doing i times 6 square root of 2, which just equals 6i square root of 2. Now that we have that, we can go back over here. And this would be x equals 6 plus or minus 6i square root of 2 all over 2. And after we do that, we will just be dividing it all by 2. So this would be x equals 3 plus or minus 3i square root of 2. And this is how we get the answer. Uh, I got it wrong originally because on this step right here, I uh, actually, it was technically right here, I didn't use the correct subtraction and I ended up leaving it as positive 72, which messed all the steps up. So after knowing that, I know how to do that.